Our continuing coverage of the Philadelphia Eagles training camp 2021 here at the NovaCare Complex. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with the new Kenny G. Kenny Gainwell, Eagles rookie running back. Kenny G, smooth Kenny G. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that you? Yeah, yeah, I'm smooth Kenny G. Are yeah. you a smooth operator? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You see me moving on I do. The field. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I, I, that's what we're here to talk about um, in part. The, the thing that's very striking about you is how natural it seems to be as we watch you, particularly catching the football. Mm -hmm. How do you develop those skills? Over time, you know, I used to be a quarterback back in the day in high school. So just getting that feeling of catching the ball every time on the center snapped it to me. So that developed over time. I transitioned to playing receiver in zone seven. And then just going from there to Memphis, you know, and just catching the ball every day in practice. So until you were at Memphis, you were not really a, a full-time running back? Yeah, I was full-time running okay, back. Okay, but you were, yeah. you were catching the ball a lot. But, too. yeah, we had a position that was called the four-back. So we get split out a lot. Is that kind of what they're doing here in terms of just moving you? It seems like they're very comfortable moving you around mm -hmm. the formation. Yeah, sort of, kind of. Just moving me all over the place. They know I can catch the ball real good, so... Just moving me around. All right, so for the lesson for all the young football players out there, what are the keys to catching a football? It's not just as easy as putting your hands out there. No, nah, you got to work on it. It's just the hand strength, you know, you got to be strong with your fingers and stuff. You know, you got to be strong with your hands. And then look it in. Yeah, just and focus. High and tight. Yeah, that focus on, you know, just creating a picture every time you catch the ball. You know, every time you catch the ball, it got to be the same picture every time, every time you catch it. Kenny, how has the football part of it been? It had been a year off for you. I mean, was there a period of time when Rust, you had to knock Rust off? Ever since the opt-out, man, I, I was, I've been at it for seven months straight. I couldn't wait to get back on the field. Right, I can imagine. Yeah, I, can I couldn't imagine. wait. Once I got right back on the field, man, it felt like normal. You know what I'm saying? It felt like I've been out there for seven months straight, you know, doing what I've been doing. For those who don't know, why did you opt out of football last year at Memphis? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I thought because of, I had family in the past from COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how difficult was the whole experience for you, losing people that you love and then kind of losing the game that you love as well? Yeah, it was kind of tough. I had to, you know, I had to sit back and realize, you know, my family come first. Hey, I lost a lot of people. All right, so tell me what training camp is like for you. How do you feel you're doing preseason? All, just give me the Kenny G update. This is all what I dreamed about, you know. Being out here with guys that I seen on TV, it's just a dream come true. And just being out there, catching the ball, doing what I love to do, you know, running hard, running fast, it just feel good. Are you up to speed? Are you as good as you were at Memphis? Are you better than you oh, were yeah. at Memphis? Oh, yeah, for sure. Why? Oh, man, just the burst of speed, my route running, the way I catch the ball. I practice without any gloves, you know. I train my hands during practice so that when it comes to a game, I'll be better. So you know, I kind of just train myself. On the jugs machine, how many do you catch a day? Uh, I catch about 500. I try to get each angle, about 20 each. What do you do, Kenny, when you're not at the NovaCare Complex, mm -hmm. when you are uh, kind of relaxing and just letting yourself decompress? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm just relaxing, either playing the game or talking to my mom. Uh, but other than that, I'm just chilling. Kenny, let's talk a little bit about what you do off the field, too. I know you are into the world of multimedia with Twitch, mm -hmm. with YouTube channel. Yeah. Wh where can people find it, and what will they see when they get there? Yeah, so you can find me on Twitch at KennethG19, and you can find me on YouTube at Kenneth Gainwell. Man, I just post different cutoffs of me just playing the game and like just doing what I do. Is football everything to you? Like, is this is this something that you have just loved and loved and loved since you were a kid? Yeah, so I, I said that to my girlfriend last night uh, about my brother, too. You know, my brother been the one that always worked and, like, always did everything. But I was the one that was always all about football. I, like, never had a job. Like, I, like, just always played football. So, I mean, I think football is very important to me. Obviously. Did you have a plan B if football didn't work out for you? Nah, not really, but I think I was going to be a cop. I had I was in criminal justice in college, right. so that was probably going to be the second. How do you feel, Kenny, last one here? Like, just being a, a welcomed into back into the game of football, back into a locker room. You're a rookie. I mean, I know that you have to get the readers water ice every now and then, yeah. but, like, in general, do you have, have the guys really brought you in with open arms and, yeah. and embraced you? Yeah, I feel, I feel so comfortable and welcome here, and it's been amazing. I can't explain, you know, the emotion, you know, I have, like, just being welcome to a team where people really love you, you know, and, like, they care about you, you know, and a city, too, you know. So I appreciate everyone. Yeah, man, and you're back on the football field, which is your home it's away amazing. from home. It's where yeah. you love to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. Good stuff. Kenny Gainwell. Kenny G, thank you for joining me here. Eagles insider Dave Spadaro from the NovaCare Complex, our continuing coverage of Philadelphia Eagles training camp 2021.